Kaveri jet engine has been one of the long cherished dreams of India. Earlier it was expected that Kaveri jet engine will power India's prestigious aircraft fighter aircraft light combat aircraft Tejas. But unfortunately when the Kaveri jet engine was developed it was found that the engine lacks enough thrust to power LCA Tejas. Now the authorities repurposed the engine for India's silent stealth drone Ghadak. I mean it, it was expected that the dry engine without afterburners will power Ghadak drone. So it was removed actually the Kaveri jet engine program was removed from mission mode but still uh, researches continue test also continue uh, test of the dry engine was conducted or it was conducted in uh, russia but now again hopes are being rekindled we find that recently the online media is full of reports about kaveri uh, engine a redesigned engine uh, or it is called a kaveri derivative engine producing enough power to you know for uh, lca tejas 1a program now this is a new development this is very interesting if that that comes true india can do away with even the us f0 for engines we should not forget the fact that while we blame drdo for the delay in this uh, kaveri engine project the very well known the world the world's leading jet engine manufacturer g has been unable to give pro, keep up promises with india so i think the interest in kaveri jet engine derivative engine is justified now let's take a hard look into what is happening and uh, what are the latest developments on of kaveri jet engine welcome to insights i am Hari Kumar. Recently, media reported that GTRE, that is Gas Turbine Research Establishment, which is a part of DRDO, which is India's premier research and development agency in the defense sector, displayed a Kaveri engine with afterburners. This is going to get tested. India is going to test this on an Su-30 flying test bed. Again, there are reports that the DRDO is directly going to fit the engine on uh, in a Gadak drone and that is also going to be tested. So this is very interesting news. Recently, there has been a campaign to revive funding of Kaveri jet engine pro program. Many people point out that though now India is India has entered into an agreement with G for F404 engines that will power India's light te combat aircraft Tejas 1A. The G company has not been able to keep up promises. They have delayed. It's not just one or two months. The G had promised India to deliver 10 jet engines in 2023. Now this is going to be the end of 2025. Still they have delivered only three jet engines. So the whole program has been affected because of, of the delay from the part of GE. If a very well established company, the, the number one company in the world regarding jet, jet engines makes such delay, I think the delay made by DRDO could be padded. So this is the now thinking that rules the country nowadays. Different sections including scientists, uh, luminaries etc. have demanded revival of funding of Kaveri jet engine program. Now reports are appearing in the media that the derivative engine fitted with afterburners produces a thrust between 73 kilonewtons and 80 kilonewtons. This is in the range of what the thrust uh, being produced by F404 engines 
supplied by G. The F404 engines produce, you know, 78.7 kilo newtons of thrust. So India's indigenous Kaveri engine fitted with afterburners could very well produce that level of tr thrust. This is very interesting. If India can produce if this uh, this engine, if this is successfully tested on an SU-30 flying bed platform, then I think definitely we should revive the funding. Everybody knows that India's uh, defense programs, defense research programs operate on a showstring budget. You check the budget being utilized by jet engine manufacturers of Safran, G, Rolls-Royce or Vita and, Vita and Pratney, any company, they would be several times more than what India gives the, its premier agency D, DRDO. So I think the demand for more budget is eminently justified. This is what I feel. Now there are many varieties of this jet engine, you know, this Kaveri engine I mean. For example, Kaveri engine with afterburners could be used in LCA Tejas and other indigenous jets. Then Kaveri jet engine without afterburners, that is a dry engine, is being planned for Ghatak stealth drone. Now on the same platform, engines, are, engines can be fabricated to use on naval platforms. So I think the money uh, that is spent on Kaveri jet engine program could be justified. It's true that it, uh, the Kaveri jet engine program is lagging. The truth is that the idea, it was, the ideation was done in 1982. Thereafter for several decades it has been lagging. And eventually when a real jet engine was produced, it couldn't produce enough thrust. Then there are other uh, justifications for this also. I have read that the manufacturer, the DRDO officials or scientists who worked in the program, they opinion, opinion that initially the weight of the Tejas was not this much. There have been many additions from or demands for additions from the Indian Air Force and that was how the weight of the plane increased. And this eventually led to, you know, failure of uh, producing the expected thrust. It was earlier not expected to produce thrust to that level. It was what the designers say. We don't know about that. There are no authentic, you know, clarifications on the subject. But at the same time, I feel that this research and development program could not be, should not be called off. Because very few countries in the world are producing jet engines on their own. The, those countries that manufacture jet engines are only a handful. For example, France is producing it. The United States, especially Pratt and Whitney, G are producing that. In France, it is Safran, Safran which is producing it. In UK, you have Rolls-Royce producing it. Not, no, of course, in Russia, Russia also has their own jet engine. But not China. China has been trying their level best for decades. Now those jet engines they produce nowadays are engines reverse manufactured from Russian models. So that is the situation. So you cannot actually blame India. But at the same time, the question that why India has not been able to manufacture it despite, you know, assembling Russian jet engines. This is a very pertinent question and people need to answer that. But at the same time, this is not a reason to call off the entire project. If uh, this derivative engine succeeds, then nothing like that. You look at what G is doing to India. Actually, no country is willing to, you know, uh, encourage India's, its, India's own fighter jet program because they all want to sell their own fighter jets to India. So they will do whatever possible. They will manipulate. They will, uh, in dubious ways, in devious ways, they will try to sabotage India's own fighter jet program. And even after several years, the LCA Tejas has not taken off one eye. I mean, the Tejas which is fitted with 
uh, arms. So this is the situation. India has to go through this phase. We have to overcome challenges. I hope this new engine, derivative engine, fitted with afterburners, will be able to fulfill our aspirations and dreams. Let's wait for that. I will be back with updates. Till then, goodbye.